curse of sour, Diesel Hill, nestled in a remote valley. Obscured by mist and surrounded by imposing cliffs, lay a forgotten town known as Sour Diesel Hill. The town had once thrived, its fields lush with crops, but it had fallen into ruin after a curse descended upon it, believed to be tied to the infamous cannabis strain. Sour, diesel, the town's history was shrouded in mystery, and the townsfolk lived in perpetual fear of the curse. No one dared to cultivate the sour diesel strain, for they believed it would bring the curse to life. One autumn evening, a curious botanist named Dr. Olivia Harlan arrived in Sour Diesel Hill. She had heard tales of the enigmatic cannabis strain and was determined to uncover the truth behind the legend. Her arrival sent whispers through the decaying town. As Dr. Harlan wandered the deserted streets, she noticed the strange symbols etched on the dilapidated buildings and cryptic warnings painted on signs. Beware the green mist, Sour Diesel's wrath. Undeterred, Dr. Harlan ventured to the outskirts of town, where a lone, gnarled tree stood atop a small hill. At its base, a patch of the infamous Sour Diesel plants grew, their leaves a deep green that seemed almost unnatural. She reached for a leaf, and as she touched it, the wind picked up and the sky turned a sickly shade of green. The ground trembled beneath her feet and the earth seemed to come alive. A spectral figure, its body covered in vines, emerged from the ground. Who dares disturb the cursed soil of sour diesel hill? The spirit bellowed. Dr. Harlan, trembling, replied, I seek knowledge not to disturb. The spirit's hollow eyes locked onto hers, seeking knowledge, you say. Very well, but beware, for the curse is not to be trifled with. The spirit vanished and the wind died down. Dr. Harlan collected samples from the sour diesel plants and retreated to her makeshift camp on the outskirts of town. As she analyzed the samples, a green mist enveloped her. Panicked, she tried to flee, but it was too late. The mist seeped into her pores, and she felt herself becoming one with the cursed sour diesel. In the following days, the townsfolk watched in horror as Dr. Harlan transformed into a grotesque plant-like creature. She roamed the town at night, her eerie laughter echoing through the valley. Sour Diesel Hill remained forever cursed. A town lost to time, and Dr. Olivia Harlan became a legend, a warning to all who dared to seek the secrets hidden within the strain of Sour Diesel. The curse of Sour Diesel Hill lived on, its secrets guarded by the sinister plants and the spirits that haunted the valley. Dr. Harlan's fate served as a chilling reminder that some mysteries were better left unsolved Years passed, and sour, Diesel Hill remained a forsaken place. The townsfolk lived in perpetual fear, never daring to venture beyond the crumbling remnants of their once thriving community. However, one fateful night, a group of outsiders arrived in sour Diesel Hill. They were thrill seekers drawn by the legends and eager to test their courage against the curse. Among them was a fearless young man named Daniel, known for his reckless nature and insatiable curiosity. As they stepped foot into the eerie town, Daniel couldn't help but notice the ominous atmosphere that hung in the air like a suffocating fog. The buildings loomed like silent, twisted sentinels, and the streets seemed to whisper with malevolence. Sarah, one of Daniel's companions shivered and said, I've got a bad feeling about this place, Daniel. Are you sure it's a good idea? Daniel chuckled, trying to mask his unease. Come on, Sarah. It's just a bunch of spooky stories. Let's find that sour diesel strain and prove there's nothing to be afraid of. The group ventured deeper into the town, their footsteps echoing through the desolation. 
They passed houses with broken windows, their interiors hidden in darkness. Unsettling graffiti adorned the walls, a testament to the fear that had gripped the town. As they approached the gnarled tree on the hill, where the cursed sour diesel plants had grown, a sense of foreboding washed over them. The leaves rustled, though there was no wind, and the atmosphere grew heavier with each step. Daniel reached out to pluck a leaf from the sour diesel plant, but before his fingers could touch it, a voice echoed around them, chilling their bones. Who dares trespass upon sour Diesel Hill? The voice seemed to emanate from the very earth beneath their feet. Startled, the group turned to see a spectral figure emerging from the ground, its form shifting and contorting like smoke. Daniel. Still trying to maintain his bravado, replied, We're just here to see if the curse is real. The spirit's hollow eyes fixed on Daniel. You seek the truth, do you? Very well. But beware, for the curse can take many forms. With those words, the spirit dissipated, leaving the group in a state of unease. They proceeded cautiously, plucking a few leaves from the sour diesel plant before retreating from the hill. As night fell over sour diesel hill, the group set up camp on the outskirts of town. The air grew colder, and the ominous presence of the curse seemed to encroach upon their campfire's feeble light. As they sat around the crackling flames, sharing stories and laughter, a green mist began to rise from the ground. It swirled and danced, coalescing into a spectral form. It was Dr. Olivia Harlan, the cursed botanist, her appearance grotesque and unsettling. Daniel's bravado crumbled as he gazed upon the abomination before him. What? What are you? Dr. Harlan's voice, now distorted and ethereal, echoed through the night. I am the embodiment of the sour diesel curse, a warning to all who dare to seek its secrets. Sarah and the others trembled, realizing the gravity of their situation. They had unleashed the curse's malevolent force. Dr. Harlan's spectral form stretched out a hand, and the campfire flickered and died, plunging them into darkness. The green mist enveloped them, seeping into their very souls. They could feel themselves changing, their bodies becoming part of the curse. In the days that followed, the townsfolk of Sour Diesel Hill bore witness to a new horror. The outsiders had become twisted, plant-like creatures, condemned to roam the town forever, their laughter echoing through the valley, just as Dr. Hollins had. Sour Diesel Hill remained a forsaken place, its curse now more potent than ever. The cautionary tales of the cursed strain echoed far beyond the valley, a chilling reminder that some mysteries were better left untouched.